Hi guys, I'm Lisa Correo, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to our very first episode of Slash Up, the web series that pits cinema and pop culture's greatest heroes, villains, and icons against each other in an explosive what-if short film. So, it's my favorite time of year again, October, and that means blood, guts, creature features, and slashers on my torrent. I mean Netflix Q. Speaking of slashers, let's get down to brass tacks. This episode's mashup, two of the biggest hard genre franchises of the 80s, the Friday the 13th franchise and the time-traveling killer toaster spectacular, The Terminator. For the breakdown, let's take it to working class geek and useless movie trivia king, Anthony Caruso. I think we should probably start by uh, dissecting each movie a little bit on its own. Uh, in Terminator, you basically have James Cameron's sci-fi spin on the classic slasher genre. I mean, think about it. You have a nearly indestructible monster chasing a damsel in distress with a massive body count along the way to fill the time. And then, in Terminator 2, they totally flip it on its head. They take the damsel in distress from the first film and turn it into one of the most legendary badasses of all time. And then on the other hand, you have Friday the 13th, which, if you're 35 years late to the party, it's not Jason in the first movie. It's actually his mother. However, when people think about Friday the 13th, they usually think about three main things. One, the iconic hockey mask, which actually doesn't come into play until the third film. Two, horny teenagers. They're all over all the movies, and they're Jason's favorite prey. And third is his apparent ability to regenerate between sequels. I think the natural jump a lot of people would want to make would be Terminator versus Jason. But that's not where the story is for me. The story here is human Sarah Connor, legendary badass, versus Jason Voorhees. Who's gonna win this little tussle? It would seem like Sarah would have the edge in terms of military tactics and knowledge of weaponry, and Jason would have the edge in up-close personal combat. If he gets his hands on her and she doesn't have access to a hydraulic press or molten lava, he's probably gonna smash her into a tree trunk until she's a bloody pulp. He does, however, have a few glaring weaknesses. It seems in every movie he has an Achilles heel. In one movie, it's toxic waste. In another, it's a bad memory. And in one, it was even water. That's right, water. We're looking at you, Freddy versus Jason. That said, this one's gonna be real close. It may actually be just too close to call. You're gonna have to check it out. Thanks, Tony. So there you have it, folks. The ultimate slasher, the killer of Camp Crystal Lake, Jason Voorhees, versus the ultimate slasher survivor, the gun-toting badass mother of the future, Sarah Connor. Sit back and buckle up. This is Slash Up. I'm on my way to a facility in the Northeast, a subcontractor for Cyberdyne. I'm recording this now in the hopes that one day, John, you'll understand why I left, why I have to do the things I'm going to do, and why they have to be done alone.
Don't got it. No, got it. No, got it. There it is. In your face. In your face. Sorry, Robbie, but you know the rules. Women take all. Fuck my life. That's it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I'm low on fuel, babe. Keep the engine running. I'll be right back. No oh, thanks. Ugh. Means rematches in like trying to have sex with you because that would be objectifying women and that's wrong. <laughs> Give it to me straight. Do I have a shot or not? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> with me if you want to live. We're stopping. Why are we stopping? He's not dead, is he? Not even close. Do you know who that is? Listen, muscle lady with the guns, I really appreciate you saving me back there and everything, but we have to get out of here. There's a five mile trek between us and civilization, kid. You got a plan B? Shit. I know, water, water, we can get him to water. The docks are right down there. Water? Yes, water. I don't make the rules. You saw the guy, he probably swims like a cinder block. Get to the docks. Good idea. You're terminated. Yes!
Do it, you son of a bitch! Oh man! Where did all these naked girls come from? Better come get me! I'm smoking reefer and engaging in premarital sex! Fuck me, this is a bad idea. Okay, he's here now. I said he's by the water. You can come out and save me. Okay, seriously, Andy, now would be a good fucking time! Get down. Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob? We should go. What? Why? He'll be back. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our first episode. If you liked what you saw and want to see our show continue, please click on the Kickstarter link below. Episode 2 is going to be crazy. We're slashing up Neo from The Matrix with Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. And we can only do that with your help. See you guys next time.